We humans, from the beginning, have loved making things. We like to make life easier and also our surroundings more beautiful. We've gone from stone tools to smooth metal ones with handles and from straw-built huts to homes made out of wood, then stone, then brick, with gentle pathways connecting them all. The discovery of metals several thousand years ago resulted in a very rapid evolution. We worked with the tools we'd created to help us till the ground and grow our crops. We started using rivers to not only supply us with drinking water, but also to give us the power to grind our grains into food. Gradually, it was discovered that we could get power not just from flowing water, but from the flowing air in the sky as well. Wind turbines were in use about 2,000 years ago. All these technological innovations have become more and more complex and often more refined in their structure as the centuries have gone by. For instance, the plough, the steamship, the automobile, the airplane, and in recent years, the modern wind turbine. These inventions were built to take us and our products across the land and the sea and the air. They've gradually become more streamlined and more beautiful as time has gone by. This recognition of beauty has led to a growing sense of affection. For example, the Eiffel Tower, as it was being built in Paris in the 1880s, was first met with great horror when its construction began in the middle of France's classically beautiful city. However, the tower's elegance and simplicity gradually transformed public opinion to make it the beloved Parisian symbol that we know today. Likewise, the old jackknife bridge on the bank of the Cuyahoga River remains a well-loved symbol of Cleveland as a creative industrial and manufacturing hub the symbol being enhanced by its simplicity. The refined and beautiful turbines out on our lake will surely symbolize in the future essential, beloved and cared for parts of our existence. <laughs>